She appeared pious and charitable as a young woman. Despite her sadistic behavior later in life, Saltikov exhibited fairly typical behavior as a young woman. She was also very religious and donated substantial sums to charites and monasteries. She left most men alone but killed their loved ones. The majority of Saltikova's victims were female, allegedly because she blamed other women for her misery and unfortunate love life. Saltikova did accidentally kill three men, although, to punish her male servants, she would generally kill their loved ones instead. For example, Saltikova punished one of her male serfs by systematically eliminating his three wives. She was allegedly a sadist. Saltikova frequently beat and abused her servants. For example, if once of her servants failed to complete a task to her satisfaction, she would throw objects at her until the task was completed. At times, she would aggressively whip and beat her female serfs to the point of death. Some hypothesize that Saltikova was a sadist who found pleasure, and even sexual gratification, from humiliating her servants and causing them pain. She tried to kill her lover after he ran away with a younger woman. Following her husband's death, Saltikova started seeing a man named Nikolay Kuchev. Saltikova was enraged when she discovered that her lover had wed a younger woman. At one point, she attempted to kill him, leading Kuchev and his bride to flee Moscow. She tortured children and pregnant women. After she was spurned by her lover, Nikolay Kuchev, Saltikova turned her anger upon her female serfs. Perceiving them as rivals, she victimized over 100 women, including pregnant mothers and young children. She tortured them in various ways, including breaking their bones, pushing them outside in the winter while naked, and pouring boiling water over them. She was eventually chained in a dungeon for her crimes. I'm, 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 I'm. Soltakova was sentenced to life in prison in 1768 following a public beating in Red Square, Moscow. She was chained to a platform and was forced to wear a sign around her neck that read, This woman has tortured and murdered. Soltakova was sent to serve her time in the Ivanovsky convent in Moscow after pleading guilty to eliminating 138 serfs. She was kept in the equivalent of a maximum security prison. Saltikova was chained up in the monastery's dungeon and kept in the dark for 11 years. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.